Hello everybody and welcome. Melissa here at TCT Crafts. I'm super excited for today's tutorial. So we are going to be doing a, uh, a wreath using this adorable little Jesus is the reason for the season sign. This is a new sign that we have in the shop. We just have a few of them left. Um, so I wanted to get one of these made with you guys. We will have just a couple kits um, because we are running out of these signs already. We will have a couple kits available, um, but they won't last long, so grab them if you want them. Let me go over a few of the supplies we're gonna be using. So we're gonna be using a 20 inch artificial pine wreath base. Again, our sign. I brought in a couple different greeneries. So we have this new fun greenery that we just got in stock. I love this one, so we're gonna be using this. We're also gonna be using our little flocked berry sprays. Um, we're gonna use a couple of our ornament clusters and we're gonna be tying in this ribbon as well. So those are the supplies that we're going to be using for this design. It'll be super simple, um, shouldn't take too long to make. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna drop you down and let's get started. Okay, let's go ahead and get our sign attached. So it is gonna go just right here in the center it does have holes already in it, so it's got one at the top, or one at the bottom, one at the top. I'm just gonna tie this in with, I don't even know where I got this. I have had this. It is just magic twist ties. Um, use floral wire or a pipe cleaner or whatever you have available. I just opened my drawer and I saw this, and I was like, okay, let's just go ahead and use this because I don't even know where it came from. So I'm just gonna cut a little piece off. I'm just going to go right through that hole and I'm going to go through that um, ring. Let's make sure that is right around the back of that wire ring. I'm just going to tie it. I'll show you the back in just a second. Okay, so I'm not going to, I twisted it but not too, too much because I want to get the other one in there. So in case we need to straighten it up. So I'm gonna go through that wire, around. And get it tied in. Okay. So let me cut the tag off of our root base here. And I'm gonna do just a little public service announcement, just a little PSA here. Um, I've got a lot of a lot of comments this last week um, over the view. Um, Y'all, I do my best to try to keep you guys in camera view. Um, I don't have a big production studio here. Um, so I'm doing my best. Um, I'm trying different angles. Um, I'd appreciate if you guys could let me know in the comments which angles you like best, and I'll just keep working. Um, I want to obviously give you guys the best view, um, but sometimes it does get difficult, except especially when we do the really large swags. I mean, they take up the whole table, so it is difficult sometimes to keep the project completely in view. So I try to keep whatever we're working on in view, and you may not see the rest of the um, item until later. But I think it's important to have exactly what we're doing in view. So y'all just bear with me. Um, eventually I'll get better. Okay, so here's the back. Okay, and I have these little wires on this ring. And this is what I tied those around. So that's what I say. Just make sure you're tying it around that wire. So I'm just going to tie these off nice and tight now that we've kind of got it where we want it. And I just see that I forgot to take off my little tag for my sign. So let me see if I can peel it off. I usually try to get these off with the heat gun before I start. This one looks like it's gonna come off okay. Okay. Alright, now I'm just going to 
tighten this one up just a little bit better. And there we go. Okay, so we have our side in there. Let's go ahead and add, I think, now let's add our greenery and then we'll do our bow. Let's add at least one of our greeneries. Kind of fill this in a little bit. You can use deco mesh too if you don't want to just use the greenery. Um, but for Christmas time, you know, the pine is, pine is good. We don't mind if it shows. So I typically do a lot more Christmas designs without the deco mesh, but you definitely can use it. Okay, so let's go in, let's add this, this greenery first. Okay, so we're going to cut this up into sections. Just playing with it for a second before we glue. Okay, I'm going to cut it up even smaller so that I have a little bit more manageable pieces. Just cutting it into little sections, just like that. So cutting each one in half, basically. There, and now I have smaller pieces that we can kind of tuck in, because I don't want it too, too crazy over the top. Okay, so let's just start adding these in, just tucking them in behind our sign. And I brought in three, we're going to try to keep this a little less expensive. So I'm just going to space it a little bit because we have our holly that's going to come in here too. So I'm just kind of spacing it, tucking them in there. And I'm just going to go all the way around the outside and do that. Okay, so I'll do a couple more pieces and then I will fast forward so you guys don't have to watch the same thing over and over. Okay, so I'm just pushing that down in there. Okay, so I have gone all the way around the outside with two of our bushes. We have one, one more, and I have a little piece here. So I'm going to start going closer to the sign. So I went around the outside originally. Now I'm going to start taking these pieces, and I'm going to do the same thing, but towards closer to the sign. Okay? So I'm going to do all that and then we'll come back. Okay, so we've gone all the way around the outside and the inside. And I'm dragging glue here um, with our one spray. So this is what we have so far. Okay. Now, let's go ahead and add our bow. And I think we're going to have it sitting right in here. So we're just going to do a few loops. Let's see how long we want our tail. Okay. 
keep it plenty long. We can always trim it down. So I'm just going to pinch. Make a loop. Going to make another loop. Make sure my loops are about the same size, and they are. And to pinch and twist. I'm going to go just a little bit higher, a little bit bigger on this next loop, so maybe half an inch. Twist. And the same thing, I'm going to go maybe about half an inch. Twist. Same thing. I'm going to go about half an inch. And twist. So I think we're going to do six loops. Okay. six loops. Okay, so I'm just going to get a pipe cleaner. Tie this off. I'm going to go ahead and cut my tail on that one. Get rid of the ribbon. And I'm going to get a floral neck. around our little pick here. And then we'll wrap that copper wire around there. in there like that. Okay, make sure my pick didn't go through, which that one didn't, but this other little greenery pick did. So let me cut that off. Y'all make sure you clean up your backs. So your picks go through there. Just clip them off. All right, so I'm gonna let that glue set there for a second. And I have one extra little piece of greenery that I didn't use. So I'm gonna take that and just kind of put right next to that to cover our little pipe cleaner. And we probably could use, let me get one more of this greenery. Okay, so I'm gonna use four of these. So you know we like to anchor north, south, east, and west. I'm just put that right up under there. That's gonna help hold our loops up as well. Get another piece. All right, let's do one more. There we go.
one more piece right there. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry now. Let it dry and do its thing. Let's add in some of our little holly bushes. And then we're going to add in our ornament clusters, and that's going to be it. It's going to be a really simple yet elegant design using a sign. I don't use a lot of signs in my um, arrangements or in my wreaths, but I definitely wanted to use this sign. Okay, I'm going to give this one a little bit of a bin. Let's tuck it right out there. Just blend some of these together. Love it. Y'all, sorry about the lawnmower if you hear it in the background. Give this one a bin. Put it down in there. These have nice little wires. You can maneuver them however you want them. I'm just cutting into little pieces or pulling them. Actually, I don't even need to cut. And we're just kind of. Parting the C's and going through that, we're just going to go all the way around, kind of blend them as you, as you get them in there. Going kind of in the middle, so not on the outside, not on the bottom, right there in that middle center section. Y'all know I can't speak. Okay, so we're just gonna kinda maneuver that around. Let's get another piece. So I brought in three of these. start recording the they start mowing like right next to the window. Sorry about that y'all. It is what it is. Some things I can't control. Alright. wire your bow down into your design. I like using the picks. Um, I've learned that little trick and I like using the picks because it doesn't suck your bow down into the design. It gives it more uh, movement and elevation and it really makes that bow stand out. So that's why I like to use the pick. But you can definitely just um, you know, tie it around the, the ring, just like we did our sign, and you don't have to use a pick for your bow. That's just a personal preference of mine that I've started kind of doing. Not on every design, um, but I'd say the majority. Okay, so we've gone all the way around. I'm gonna add another piece of this holly right underneath by this pick. Pull that loop up. I think I'm going to get another piece and go right next to this loop here on this side. 
we have another one of these bushes. So can y'all see that? Let me flip you guys. Can you see how we just gave our little loops some support with that holly? Okay, so now we've got all the way around. We've got one piece left. Let's start filling in towards the inside with our other bush here. And we have a couple pieces of that greenery as well. Okay, so now we're gonna just start taking some of these pieces. I wanna go on the inside of that bow. We went on the outside of the bow. So I'm gonna go right in here. blend those, kind of maneuver those to kind of go like it's growing in our bow. I get another piece. I'm going to go right up under here. Again, I'm going to move, sort of maneuver my leaves like they're just growing all through that, through that bow. Isn't that beautiful? Love that. See how adding your bow on a pick? Gives it so much more volume. Okay, we'll mess with our tails in a minute. Okay, let's get some more pieces here and we're just gonna keep going around the inside. Nice little wires, you can just wrap them around whatever you want. Make it do, make it do whatever you want. So I'm just kind of wrapping those around. left so I need to make sure I get all the way around the inside here so I may have to break this one up there we go Okay, got just a couple pieces left. I think we need a piece right in here. We also have our little ornaments. Although you can totally stop without the ornaments and I think it's beautiful. I think we'll add a few. them at an angle. Okay, so let's get, we still got a couple pieces of this extra greenery, but we can use this filler at the end. You know, I like to save a couple pieces for the end, so when we hang it up, if we see any little 
holes. We can just fill it in. So what you guys, so this is what we have so far. Isn't that beautiful? Okay, let's add our ornaments and then we're going to be done with this design. I think it's going to turn out beautifully. Okay, so we have our little clusters and we have a decision to make. So we can either leave them in little clusters so I can leave them in little clusters or we can take them apart and just kind of place a few together or we can make smaller clusters. We could do like clusters of three. I think I want to do the smaller clusters. So I'm going to take them apart. I'm thinking maybe if we do cluster of three. I think that looks good. Okay, so we can either rewrap, we could rewrap these if we wanted. I'm just going to glue them in there. But if you wanted to rewrap them and restring them into clusters of three, you definitely could. I'm just going to glue. piece under there. Okay, so we've got a little cluster of three there. So we may only need two of these. Whatever we use will be in the kit. I had originally brought three, but we might, since we're breaking them up, we'll see. We still might use them all. So I'm just going to try to get my sort of placement before I glue. I want to see what it looks like before we glue them. I'm thinking we could put some up under the bow. That will also give us a little um, support. Okay, I like the three there. So I think we may end up using them all, y'all. Hold that there for just a second. third one. Well, we can fix our greenery. Remember, these are on wire, so they will go where we want them to go. Let's go ahead and glue this ornament underneath that little loop. That's going to help support that loop. So right up under there. Let's get another one. And if you want to pull these off more gently than I was, it still has the little um, wire. You could wire these in too if you want. I'm not, I'm just, of course this one doesn't want to pull, so I'm going to have to cut it. But I'm just gluing the ornaments in, but you can take those wires and wire it around. So I'm going to do another one right up under that loop. Just like that. And 
And then we're gonna do our cluster of three with the other one being on this side. One more cluster of two. So y'all, we might not. We, we're just going to end up, I think, just using the two. So that'll cut the price down just a little bit. Let's do our other cluster like right here. Got a nice little spot there for it. this left and I, think I see a hole maybe right in here that needs a little love and I'll save the other piece for when I hang it up there we go love it okay y'all so here is our finished design isn't it absolutely gorgeous I love how this one turned out. Let's see if I can hold it correctly for you. There we go. <laughs> I love how this one turned out. I think it turned out really pretty. Of course, make it your own. We will have a few kits available. So if you want this, um, if you want to make this design and you want all the the supplies already put together for you, we will have a few kits available. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you are new here, welcome. We'd love to have you subscribe to our channel, hit that little notification bell. You'll be notified every time we have new tutorials. And um, until next time, bye y'all.